I hope you didn't forget to bring some water today. I do have some water with me, girl. Okay, just checking with you because we never know. And I got some bananas as well. We can show them during the break. Oh, thanks. I'm sorry if I went too hard on you. It's okay. I know how competitive you can be. Do you have any plans later? Uh, yeah, I'm going for basketball practice later. About that? Yeah. Uh, I've been meaning to ask you because I know how much basketball means to you and I want to do whatever I can to help you accomplish that goal. So I've actually been thinking about getting you a private coach. I'm getting excited! Because I've been checking out a few profiles for some coaches and I sent an email. I'm meeting him for coffee tomorrow. Are you kidding me? Thank you so much. I love you. Hi, Camilla. Coach Larry, nice to meet you. My pleasure. So are you ready to challenge yourself? Oh, of course I am. So let's get into it. So what does uh, basketball mean to you? Basketball? Basketball means everything to me. So what is your definition of everything? Mm, I don't know. I just like basketball. You don't know? I tell you something. I am a basketball coach. I do this because I enjoy the process of transformation. Transforming normal people to great people. Pushing them beyond the line of mediocrity. I help people be the best versions of themselves. I bring to light the strength and determination in people. That's what I do. I help them believe in themselves. And what basketball means to me? Basketball is a symbol of strength and growth. Until you find out what basketball means to you, you cannot be my student. What? This training session is over.
Well, you don't look too happy. How was the training session? There was no training session. So what happened? The coach, he asked me what basketball means to me and he wasn't satisfied with my response. Really? Yeah. So maybe you should think about it and actually come up with a good enough answer in respect to the sport. Yeah, maybe I will. Hi, coach. Hi, Camilla. How are you? I'm good. So, did you find out what basketball means to you? Mm, yeah. I'm listening. So, the purpose of life is a life of purpose. And basketball is my purpose. Then put the purpose to the task.
You still haven't touched your food? Camilla! I know the doctor said that you may never be able to play basketball again, but you can't go on like this. You haven't eaten for days. You are wrong, and so is the doctor. My knee and my hip will be fine, and I will go back and play basketball again. I wish that was the case. I would like to be left alone. Hi, coach. We have a problem. What's going on? It's Camilla. Camilla? What about her? She's losing it. Like she stays at home, smoking, drinking, playing video games all day. She won't eat, and she won't go to school. She won't talk to me or anyone. Drinks? Where does she get alcohol? She's barely 17. I think an older friend is buying it for her. 
I tried to take it away from her, but she won't let me. And I can't call the cops on my own sister. I think she's falling into depression. And I'm really worried about her. Okay, just, just stay calm. I'll call around the house tomorrow. Thank you. Really, thank you. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. Hi, Mali. Hi, Coach. How are you? Mm -hmm. How is your leg? Good. Camila, you are not doing good. And that fake smile of yours is not fooling anyone. Look at yourself. What? You don't think I look good? No, you don't. Camila. I know you are going through a lot. I know what basketball means to you. I understand your passion for the game. I understand it is devastating to come to terms with the reality that you will never be able to play basketball again. But you cannot do this to yourself. Do to myself? We all fall from time to time. It is human nature to fall, but to stay down is cowardice. We have to pick up ourselves and stay the course. When you are confronted by a challenge, you have to make a conscious decision to let that challenge define you as a person, or you learn from that challenge and define a purposeful way forward. Basketball was the purpose. Tell me more about that. You define the purpose. The purpose does not define you. The conditions that we find ourselves does not make us who we are. The condition reveals who we are. Our characters are not established when everything is rosy with blue skies. Our characters are crafted on resilience and how we conduct ourselves in the face of adversity. You can't let this break you. You are better than this and you know it. Basketball is definitely not the only thing you are good at. There are many what things. What else is there? Camilla, you have to search deep inside you and find the answer to that question. No one, no one will answer it for you. Within you is the light of a thousand suns. Do not let it fade away. I did not come here to beg you to snap out of this. I came here to remind you of who you are. You are strong, you are smart, you are beautiful, you are resolute and resilient. You are unbendable. You cut what it takes to be whatever you want to be if you set your mind to it. I have coached a lot of brilliant students in my days, but nothing to match you. 
and I'm not saying this to patronize you, you are the smartest kid I have ever coached. <laughs> and that being said, you can sit here and feel sorry for yourself all you want or you can make the decision to redefine and rewrite the story of your life. I know I was a little bit too hard on her in there, but what she needs now is tough love, not sympathy. I want to ask you something. When you guys were growing up, was there anything that she loved or was good at singing or painting, designing stuff? anything like we have to make her fall in love with something else there must be something think she was really good at painting hi camilla hi coach i got the early birthday gift for you for me yeah there you go Thank you so much, Paul. You are welcome. 
Hello? Hi, Camila. Did you get the link I sent to you? You mean about the painting competition? Yeah. I think you should give it a shot. You make some uh, really cool paintings. Oh, thanks. Maybe I'll give it a try. The deadline of uh, submission is in about two weeks. Yeah, I'll try to come up with something soon before that. You go for it, girl. And good luck. Thanks, coach. Okay. Bye. Have you seen the newspaper? No. I think you should. Why? You won the painting competition. Your face is on the cover of the newspaper. Congratulations. What? I'm, I'm the winner. Hi Camila, how are you? I'm doing fine. How about you? I'm doing fine. I have a request. I'm all ears. I've been getting emails 
and calls from some high schools. They have invited me to tell my story because they think that it will be inspiring for their students. I want you to be there with me because you are a big and integral part of my story. And I want you to be there when I share it. I see you are making great strides, my little one. In as much as I would love to be there, I do not want to be a distraction. It is your moment. The attention should be on you. You deserve it. You fought for it. But I'll be cheering for you in the background. If you say so. Good luck in your new career. Little Miss Motivational Speaker. Thank you. Okay, goodbye.